Whether you're high or low. Oh, I know I didn't now. You gotta go on the tire rope. I, 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 I tell you what. It's you first. But either way, I done did. I want to start off by saying anybody who's tired of this hat, buy me another one. What's really good, y'all? Today is Wednesday, March 13th. Ramadan Mubarak for all those who observe. Your girl do, excuse me. Um, I'm currently, something has been gassed on my For You page and my timeline on Twitter. And it's the Crazy Puffs from Hot, from Little Caesars. And they $4 for four. I want some, so I'm currently outside of that hole. She said they sold out, but they can make some fresh. Make them fresh. Um, it's been a wild week, y'all. I just been really, really lazy. I really gotta get because my thing is like I, I I be turning the motherfucking camera on, but I don't editing is just it, it really just seeps, it just really sucks my soul out, my booty hole. Honest to God. But um yeah, my back been hurting. I just, you know, I just been in a lot of spaces right now mentally. And um, I'm really just trying to figure it the fuck out. So, I have a little bit of money to spend. How much money is none of your concern. But I have questions. Number one, should I get a Netflix subscription? So, T-Mobile pays. So, somebody told me today, T-Mobile. Damn, let me swim. T-Mobile... Uh, covers if you're the primary holder, it covers a Netflix subscription with ads. Ruka don't want ads, so let's start there. So, should I get a Netflix subscription? I've been eyeing these two perfumes Herbal Flora by Zerjoff and then Meloria, I forget what it's called, by Perfume de Marley. Them house $400, that's $400. Herbal Flora, I think, is like $250. Then I wanted to get that small camera the dgi small camera um just so it's more incognito for me to vlog damn not a uh, little caesar's turning up so just so it's more incognito incognito for me to vlog that's 400 dollars. or and as a responsible adult pay my credit card debt which is 500 dollars, or um fix my camera lens which i don't know how much that's gonna be and then I already took out some because I have to renew my inspection and registration. I want to do that this week. But your girl is lazy, so I don't know when I'm going to do that. But no, no, no. I need to do that either. To, uh, this motherfucker's lights is all up in my motherfucking way. I told myself I was going to limit my cursing during Ramadan. Obviously, we are where we are. But, yeah. I am excited to try these. I can't wait to try these with y'all. It's getting packed in there. I hope she don't take my uh, my crazy puss and give it to somebody. I just went grocery shopping too. So, it turns out Little Caesars was right by right by Walmart. But yeah, what should I do? I should be responsible, huh? Still don't have a P.O. box, but I'm not trying to pay $150 monthly. What? I told him, well done. Let me see if I can put the flash on it for you niggas. Well done. And boy, oh boy, is it well done. Is it well done. So we're going to eat it. We're going to taste it. Try it one at 10. Because online I said, I saw the girl say she, um, ooh, these hot. She said she's asked for it to be well done in it. Well done with extra seasoning on it. Oh! These motherfuckers. Hot boy. Hot boy. What I want. When you stand at that me.
These cost four dollars and thirty cents. My little box. I don't think that's a good ass price. I thought that was gonna be seven ninety nine or something. But also, I never come to Little Caesars. I didn't know that five dollar. I didn't know the five dollar box. Damn. I didn't know the five dollar box was uh not five dollars no more. It's seven fifty. Oh, 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 God damn. Mm. I'm glad I got these bitches fresh. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. I would get these again. They ain't nothing special. Like, it gives like lunchable school lunch. But it's also a little Caesar. Definitely glad I got a wheel done. I got a thing of ranch, but let me see. Let me try it with the ranch. Let's see if it go off. Mm, this ranch don't smell like good ranch. This don't smell like <clears throat> let me stop ranch. Mmm. good though. Mm -hmm. You first. Oh, look at that. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm about to tear these up. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Okay. What's really good, y'all? It's your girl, Young Rooks. We back in the state. I say in the state. We back at the crib. I tore them things up. I forgot that I um, ordered some things on Amazon. I re-upped on my, my eyebrow pencils. These are the eyebrow pencils that I use. This is Milani. Um, stay put brow sculpting pencil. So, it's the worst when you're doing your makeup and then you increase the pencil and the pencil doesn't increase itself and then <clears throat> my friend's birthday her birthday is on the 19th of may i think and i remember her saying that she wanted this so i got it for her and it also gave me an excuse to how do i open this bitch it also gave me an excuse to also buy what i wanted because i wanted this um, cause y'all know me, I love sparkles and shit. I love anything with glitter in it. Like glitter gets me going for real. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So. So, yeah. Y'all know what it is, baby? Y'all know what it is, baby? It's that fancy. It's that fancy. And it came in a decent amount of time. I think I bought it on Friday. Yeah, I bought this on the 9th. Today's the 13th. So what's that, four days? Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Packed up right. I don't remember the last time they did all that nonsense, but this is what she wanted. I'm assuming this is what she wanted. Damn, it's heavy. It is the Fenty. Oh, I didn't even want to open it. It's the Fenty Perfume Cream. Um, I'm not going to open it. Well, I want to show y'all, but I don't want to break the box. It's already tearing. <clears throat> okay. Ooh, it's nice. Got the thing on it. Very nice. Ooh. 
I personally don't like the this way it smells and this was almost a hundred dollars this was eighty six dollars uh, comes with a spoon but I'm gonna put this shit right back just give it to her on her birthday I don't know if she's doing anything because y'all it's so many goddamn weddings so I'm unsure if she's doing anything but and I'm unsure if she bought this because she said this in passing a long time ago that she wanted this cream, but it was too expensive. And I told myself, I was like, I'm going to clock that and get it for her for her birthday. But I uh, got, Fenty came out with um, their, why is this dusty? It's dusty as hell. Oh, maybe because of the, Fenty came out with their, their original butter drop, but they came out with a shimmering version. So this is the Fenty Fresh, which comes in that usual, the blue. I'm not getting enough to get the other one. Um, but this one has shimmer in it. So, and this is a good fruity scent. Like, I like to layer this with the Delina. I said Delina. The Sol de Janeiro. Still smells the same. Is it as creamy? I'm not seeing. Oh, I'm tripping. I'm not seeing any gleaming glam, though. Honestly, I'm not seeing a shimmer. Oh, I see it. Smile. It's smile. It's very faint. The shimmer is very faint. But I, 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 I tell you what. I tell you what. That whole moisturizer, though. Know? Ooh. Ooh, another I don't regret shit. But the thing about it is for me is that why are these $46? You know what I'm saying? Ooh, this is going to go real good with the scents I got. I got too many lotions. I'm going to stop buying lotions. This is my last one. This is my last time buying lotions. This is my last time buying lotions. No, it ain't. But I need to finish the lotions I got and the creams and the butters and the... And the glazes that I got now. You know what I'm saying? Wow, over there, fuck myself up. But, uh, yeah. Then, I got, I told y'all I'm trying to put lights over my, on my bed. So, I did put up, I, I did put lights over my bed, but it wasn't enough. So, I just went ahead and bought another one. And, I was going to do it tonight. Uh, I might do it tonight. And I might show y'all. But, this is just the. Oh, y'all can't see shit. It's just the twinkle lights. Um, I I got these, and it comes with a remote because the thing about it is I wanted to use these like to set the mood, but these lights is bright than a bitch. So I'm gonna try to see. Cause they come with a remote, but the remote that I have. Like, it don't, it don't work. It don't work. And my nails are long, so I can't really just, like, open this bitch for real. That's what's really getting me. I can't open it. I don't know. At least. What the fuck, bro? Because I want to, I want to connect. Open. Oh, the one thing about nails, bro. Ugh. Push. Oh, yeah, no. I'm not going to be able to figure that out. Not right now. Not today. But, yeah. And then my tour order also came. But I'll show y'all that tomorrow because I know it's going to take me a minute. Well, all the work shoes that I bought. Yeah. And I want y'all to know, like, it's like, oh, look, I got money. I want y'all to know this is all pay and flow, baby. This hoe is heavy. I fuck with that. I love an expensive gift. A, del a deliciously thick whipped oil body creme laced with notes of magnolia, musk, tangerine, and Bulgarian rose. Intensely hydrates with an intoxicating scent. All right, sis. Whatever. 
Um, I don't know what else to get her though. She got me, for my birthday last year, she got me Uggs. And then she got me like a mug with my with my initial in it, which I thought was fire. So I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna get her, honestly. So we'll see. What are you narrating a book? Get up. But, you know, it's just something to light up my room. You know what I'm saying? I need to just, just spruce it up. Guess what, yo, bitch? Finally did today. I finally got my black ass, my big fine ass so, And guess what I did today? Yeah, guess what I did today. That shit was a little bit more pricey than I thought, though. I got my mother for peel from back only. I got my mother for registration. Ray. I got my mother fucking red. Everybody. Ooh, your registration is fine. Your registration is fine. Like, I don't drive my, my damn car every damn day, duh. Like, tell me something I don't know. Am I scratching the shit out of my window? Damn, this house stuck. Tell me something I don't motherfucking know. Instead of, and, 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 and nobody, everybody that was, yo, that's dangerous. Okay, pay for it then. Damn. Go, go wait, go wait in the, uh, the tax office for me. Like that shit don't always be packed and slow. I got here. Damn, this shit is annoying me. I got here at 2.30. And it's now... I'm not gonna lie, though. When I got in there, it was like... They said it was gonna take an hour, two hours. I said, God damn, but... I wasn't about to wait. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I wasn't about to wait anywhere else. So I, I sat my black ass right there. Uh, oh my God, bro. I wish I had my tweezers. Do I still have them, bitches? I don't think so. I think I took them out. Um. Oh, I know I didn't. Nah. I got my tweezers. I got my tweezers. Twenty twenty two. Yeah, out the door. And then I got one that say 225. So I don't have to come back to this motherfucker until, until the year after this one. Yes, sir. I said, a hoochie coochie do. I said, I said, a hoochie coochie. Yay! No more 2022. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I know it's not good, but I haven't registered this call since I got it. And I got it in January of 2022. And the only reason why I had to register my call same year is because my license expired in 2022. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, finally got that shit done. And it was raining hard as hell. I was gonna tell y'all when I was on my way, but it was raining hard as hell. And I really don't know how to drive, so I couldn't talk, drive, and navigate through the rain. And you know, people be like, man, I hate, I hate people who can't drive in the rain. M meanwhile, it's me, I'm people. I can't drive in the rain. Cause every time I slip just a little bit, I got, oh, I got to go 20 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. um, I'm so glad that's done. I waited. I waited a while, but it wasn't as long as I thought it would be. I thought I was going to wait two hours. I waited. Like I said, I got out of there. I waited probably like 75 minutes, which is for me, because that was going pretty fast. Like I said, when I got in there, I got in there and um, 
I got in there 229 because I read my ticket and I'm it's what 347 right now and that's me just peeling that shit off and shit. So I was in there for like 75 minutes and stuff. Um and they was going really fast. My number was R3793. And when I first got in there, they were on 3720. So I was like, God damn. But they went relatively quick. I wish I would have brought my book because I still haven't finished before I let go. But either way, I done did. I mind you, that shit, that uh, that uh, registration, getting that registration done was on my checklist for two years. Well, for a year, for a full year, I told myself, let me keep doing that. Let me keep doing that because I got my inspection. I did everything today. I got my. I went to go get a printout of my insurance, <clears throat> did my inspection. And then came here and waited. And when I did my inspection, there was this Hispanic guy in there and he was doing his concrete. He was Hispanic, half Hispanic, half Italian. Ooh la la. And so he was in there and he was just randomly talking to me. I was like, shit, you know what? He had three kids. He was married, drive a 2019 Escalade. And he got lucky with crypto. Like he put his life savings. I was like, he was like, I, he was telling me his life savings was 150000 I said, I'm sorry? And he put, he gambled it all on crypto. And it went from $4 a coin, whatever coin he bought, it went from $4 a coin to $500 a coin. So he uh, cashed out. I said, oh, he said, but he's such a hard worker. He can't stop working. So he still pours concrete. Where are our men? Where are our men who provide and lead and still want to work? Where are they? He said he don't do no pissing contests because there's no need to. He let his money talk for him. And he put most of the money in the trust for his kids. I'm super lit about finally getting my damn registration cleaned up. What's really good, y'all? Your girl, Young Group. Today is March 16th. It is a Saturday. My friends came over. So one of my friends, one of my really, really good friends, she is a flight attendant. So sometimes she has layovers in Dallas. So she came over. I went to go pick her up from her hotel. She came over, and now my apartment complex. When I first, when I first uh, moved into this place, they had signs that stated that you know you needed to register, but they never like really made it a big deal. But as of recently, like they've been making the parking situation a huge deal. Not only do you have to park in designated visitors parking, so I would think that's enough. If it says visitors on the parking spot, that means visitors can be there. No, you have to park in the designated visitors parking spot and you have to register. And um, mind you, <clears throat> to my, my flight attendant friend, Taylor, she came in late. So by the time she landed and got to her hotel and stuff, it was about probably 10, 11, right? So, my friends was like, shit, it's late, but they still came. Mind you, I stay, they stay like about 45 minutes away from me. 45, yeah, 45 minutes away from me. They still came late in the midnight hour, came, and we had a good time. Just girl talk, talking about dig, you know. Now, mind you, one of them, she's married, so she, she kept her shit to a minimum. Um, but then we were leaving, just having a good time, little wine, little greenery, we was just chilling. And so I walked into the elevator. I was like, y'all register your cars, right? One of them said yes. One of them said no. I said, no, 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 no. And so when she was going, I said, no, I have to call her. I have to see. Lo and behold, her shit got told. I said, fuck. Mind you, I'm a little lit. I'm like, man, what the fuck? So I immediately sober up. Like, I just, I just sober up because, like, in a towing situation, you cannot think too long because you're just going to get even angrier. So I got in my car, 
took her to the place. They were not answering, so we were unsure it was even there. But when we got there, it was there. She had to pay $330. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to send you $100. I should have reminded you, you know, did you register your car when you slid through? And I didn't remind you. I told them prior to to register their cars, but I should have reminded her when we came in. But when I seen her, we just, you know, we haven't seen each other in so long. So we immediately started just gisting and shit. And it just flew my mind. But it was just like, damn, like, it was such a cute night. You know, it was a random impromptu night. Our girl, she landed. You know, she wanted to see us. And I told her, she was like, oh, am I dressing comfortable? Or, um... Are we going out tonight? I said, I could tell you for a fact, I'm not going any fucking where. I pulled up to her hotel just like this. I'm not going anywhere, lady. Get into this car. Let's get you something to eat. And let's chill for a minute. Yeah. So, um, that was last night. But it was good until it wasn't. You know, at the end of the day, like, I wouldn't want, regardless of anything, I would want my friend to try to, like, you know, assist me in some way. And I just had to because it's just like, this happened at my... She was like, it's okay. I was like, it's, I know it's okay. Like, but $330? And my friend didn't even try to offer to assist me? You know? So, I know it's not half. I could have, you know, but I don't got half right now. You know what I'm saying? Like... When I tell you all my extra funds is going, and then my student loan payment started, y'all, I need to call them on Monday and see what the, what, what can we do? I can't have no more bills, bro. None. None. Please, I can't. Somebody tell me how to figure this out. Biden said he was canceling shit. I ain't seen a can or sell. Anyway, sorry. I got my toilet order. I told you I got my toilet order. <clears throat> I was supposed to open with this. I was supposed to open this with y'all a while ago, but I just didn't feel like it. Cause for me, when I open stuff, like I have to clean and organize it before I do anything else. So, like I said, I got shoes. Most of my shoes I always get from Tours because they cater to the wide foot bitches. And um, I'm a wide foot bitch and I need that. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine pairs of shoes? I got doubles. I got same shoes in different colors though. I ain't know that though. Nine pairs? Oh, that's right, Queen. Yeah. But yeah, so. Damn. <clears throat> First, I got these. These are the knitted shoes. Stretch knit. No, these are the Stretch Knit Mary Jane Flat Black. Blah, 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 blah. So, I got these in a size 11. These look like these look like work shoes, don't they? These look like work shoes. Like, I just, I would go into work with either shoes like this. I mean, boots. Or, um, I have, like I said, I have one pair of shoes. One pair of, like, slip, see, uh, what are they called? Oh, these fit perfectly. Oh, my foot is ashy. These fit perfectly, y'all. Oh, my. Can you see? My foot ashy, but let it be. And I wear a size 11. Oh, these fit so well. I'm excited about that. I don't know if y'all seeing it. I'm excited about that. They fit so well. Um, And I know what you're thinking. Like, Ruka, damn. You need to get your... You need to get your... Um, Toes done. Come do it for me. Oh, these fit so well. The thing about it is, though, sometimes, like, the the back of these, they be scrunching the back of my foot. Be rubbing the back of my foot, and I hate that shit. I'm glad they put these things in there, too. And then also, for me, sometimes the left and the right be fitting different. For me. <clears throat> so let me put this on. Right. Oh, no, that shit, shit, that shit still fire. That shit's still fire, but that uh that back, I gotta be I gotta be careful about that back, cause it feels like it's gonna be scrunching on the ends. Like it's gonna be like rubbing on the ends of my my ankles, and I'm not looking for that. I'm not looking for I'm not looking for a matrimony like that. 
But they look so cute on my feet. Oh, yeah. So we want for nine right now. That's good. Okay. Next. And another thing is, I'm going to probably have to. No, because five. I'm going to get a shoe stand. I told myself I was going to get a shoe stand. And I'm going to get one because I don't have nowhere to put these. And I'm going to need these in easy reach. Oh, my God. I did that. That was on me. Next. Three. Ooh. These, if these don't scream work, I don't know what do. I don't know what do. These. These. I can't even lift them up straight. These. These. Um. Almond toe. Damn, I don't know what the fuck I got. Almond toe loafer with the hard wage. No, that's, these are not it. I don't know, but these are these are uh, cream and black. These scream, hello, how may I be of assistance today? Type shit. So, and they they put these in real good now. And I'm glad for me, cause I just can't. I'm glad they don't come in boxes because I don't need no more boxes in my shit. You feel me? Uh, let me see how these fit. These look a little, oh, they stretch at the top to, um, mirror your sh oh, shit. Oh, yeah. These looks, is it me? Maybe because I just woke up, but all this, uh, oh, they look so good on my foot for me, personally. They just look good. Maybe it's the ankle bracelet. And I, you know what else I really do like? I like a pointed toe. And these are pointed toes, babe. These pointed toes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let me pick this box up. Okay, so we two for two right now. All right. All right. See, because it's already creating a mess. I did get like some sling backs. I think these are one of them. Yeah. I got some little heel sling backs. <laughs> I got these in black and white. The black ones. Yeah, the black ones was $20.79. And these was $31. I guess the color was more high in demand than the black ones. However, I online, I like the way the black ones look better. But this is the shoe with a good slack. With a good slack and it's just the point. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah. Who's not going to be. And then like. <clears throat> we've been going to, going in office more. Who's not going to be. Ready and set. You know what I'm saying. Who's not. He's cute. What y'all think. You know, with a heel, I mean, with a uh, with a good slap for me, I think these would go crazy. Let me try them on, though. Let's see. Uh-oh. Right, bro. Oh, no, nah, bitch. <laughs> I think it's, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I've been, I'm feeling really delusional right now because everything just look good on my face. But I'm just not, I don't know what it is. I'm just not looking right. I'm not seeing right. I don't know, but it just looks so good on my foot to me. Ooh. Ooh. With that short, but, you know, business-like heel. Like, I can click clack in these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Oh, these just look good on my foot to me. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Are you sure... That you submitted the documents into the appropriate place. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Oh, these. I made a good choice. And they're roomy. And they're wide leg. Who are you talking to? Do you not see my shoes? Do you not see my shoes? Oh, these look so good to me. And they're so work-coded. They're so work-coded. 
with the ankle knit? Yeah, I'm ashy. Yeah, I need a pedicure. But, also, huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to keep these on because I like these. Let me see where the black one is at. Because I got some. Oh, these shoes. Are, I can't wait for these. I got some black ones too. And I need to see about them. These is the yeah, these are the black ones. These is the black ones. Because you know for some reason, <clears throat> sometimes the same shoe, different color fits differently. Sometimes it's due to like dye and all that other shit. From what I was told. I I don't know shit about it. But this is like a patent leather that I really like. Like they just these look like business. I'm standing on business in these. And then they very much give tightrope. Whether you're high or low, you got to go on the tightrope. That was when people thought Janelle Monet was. You got to do it on the tightrope. Yeah. Whether you're high or low, whether you're high or low, you got to go on the tightrope. You know, what shoe right now is, is is really in style for the designer girlies? Is it is it the Dior, the slingback? The slingback heels. Is it Dior? Uh, Jackie Ina has... Who the hell is this? Jackie Ina has the shoes in black and brown. Ooh, she looks delicious. Damn, I just missed it. Damn, where is that? Veve. Oh, she's stunning. Let me put that. Sorry. You're stunning. Look at Jave. I oh, know that's right. Look at my girl. She look good. <laughs> I know that's right, Queen. <laughs> um, oh yeah, Jackie Ina. She posted about them. I think she wore it with this. These YSL heels. YSL. Favorite shoe this season. It's the YSL. Absolutely. These YSL heels. You already know what it is. Favorite shoe this season, hands out. Absolutely. They remind me of those, but like 17, 17 um, notches down. You know, don't let me boost too much. But I don't know. I think for my big foot, no Nicki Minaj. I know. These are working for me, personally. And this could really be showing my age. Like, bitch, these old ass shoes. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to be walking around like Julia motherfucking Roberts. I like them. Let me try these black ones on. Because I like the way the black look. I just, I like patent leather. I do. Like, they just so classy to me. Okay. These... He's not stretching. See, I told you to fit on um, color because these was cheaper. Oh. Hey. Oh. Am I showing y'all? Are you seeing the foot? Are you seeing the foot right now? Why is it, why is it blurry? Why is it blurry? Look at that shoe with the heel on it. Yeah. Me? I'm a fan. I am a fan. These are so cute to me. I love the fact that I'm loving all the shoes. Maybe because I know they for work. I'm not really just too pressed. But baby, these are cute. Put a little buckle on them. And then like when your toes not done, you got something to automatically go to. Yes, please. Okay. So. Y'all, I'm lit about these shoes. Okay. These are loafers. I got some loafers. So, these are cute. 
cute and creamy. Definitely gives Steve Harvey collection, but I do not mind. Because the thing is, I just have to level up. Word to Sierra. I just got to look the part. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to do things that make sense. And um, I have to do things that that low-key just mirror my age. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you guys, nowadays, before anything else, I'm going to be comfortable. And if I'm not comfortable, you're not seeing me for long. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm not comfortable, you're not seeing me for long. I would rather be comfortable than anything else. So, okay, so these, these look like work shoes. <laughs> these look like, um, what's them old school shoes that uh, men used to wear with their suits? They was still something. They would get them from men's warehouse. So these, I like them because they're comfortable and they look like work shoes, but they not, they not dainty. They not dainty. They not feminine at all to me. Whether you're high or low, you gotta go home to tie you. They not feminine at all to me, but you know, it's a shoe. You feel me? Like, it's a work shoe. Like, nobody's, nobody's not gonna take me serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, they gonna see the shoe and be like, okay, she here to work, you know? Next. Okay, so now I just have regular black flats. You know what I'm saying? Like regular, no style to them, except maybe the little point, which is good. Like I told you, I don't have any work shoe. I think they just dissipated throughout the moves that I've had. And then when I was remote, like, I just felt like I didn't need them because I wasn't wearing them outside of work because they're not, they not trendy. They don't look good. So I'm like, I'm not wearing them outside. But um, now that I go into work and now, like, we doing, like, a lot more meetings in the office. I'm a, okay, so these, these are ground zero feet. These, like, they don't have no, it's just, this is the, this is a flat. This is a motherfucking flat. Like, I can wear these all the time. They're not going to bother me none. Ooh, these are cute. I should have put some lotion on my leg. <sighs> what are these? What are these? Okay, I got some other loafers too. So these are the other loafers. I got a lot of knit, but the knits are like breathable. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and they was, like I told y'all, they was having a 35% sale. And who am I to say no to that? Cause I just randomly went on there. Um, and I was thinking, you know, I could pay in for these bitches. So that's what the fuck I did. Um, ooh, D. <laughs> So these knits, so they a little flimsy at the top. They got a solid bottom though. Yeah, these are very breathable. Oh, these are cute. These are very breathable. They're a little loose because they knit, but, oh, I like them. I like them. I like them. I think they're cute. Okay. And so these are the shoes that I was most excited about. I just love mules. I do. And I love a mule. And then it's a work mule. Like, 10 Timmy. 10 Timmy. Like, don't restrict me too much. You know what I'm saying? Don't restrict me too much. So, just regular. Just regular work mules. Uh, and for me, I see myself wearing these everywhere. I see myself wearing these everywhere. Oh, yeah. Good work shoe. Yeah. yeah. I like these. I think, and I got them in white too. I think. 
out of all the shoes, I just don't like the the men's warehouse shoe. Why the white ones wrapped up so tight, but the uh, black ones just came out really nilly. Like they got the cover for the hardware on here and everything. Like, what's the reason for that? And another thing is that the white version of the same shoe was, I mean, the black version for the same shoe was always cheaper. I don't know. That's just, that's just. Mm -mm. Like it didn't have none of this, is there? Hmm. Not attached to nothing. But yeah, ooh, they feel better though. They do. You gotta go home to tie her up. Yeah. So, I'm a fan of all of them really, except. Damn. I just vacuumed this motherfucking place too. One, two, three. I think I might return these if I can. Four. I like these a lot. Five. Six. Another pair I really liked a lot. I seven. I think I'm gonna be rocking these to the moon. I love the way they look on my feet. Eight and nine. The heel. Like I love these. I love the way they look on my feet. I think they're so classy, and I'll be able to wear these to like work events. And like, you know, social functions where I still want to be comfortable but classy. Yeah, I love these. So, um, and then, like I said, it was 35% off. So, for nine pairs of shoes, I paid. So, the total for everything was $200, $260.60. For nine pairs of shoes at Torrid? That's a steal. So... Yeah, if y'all want the link, straight links to these, let me know. I'll link y'all for real. But I'm going to be honest. Y'all be saying y'all wanting the links just to say it. Y'all don't be wanting shit about it. But if y'all really want them for real, let me know. I will I will send them hoes out. But yeah, I think I'm going to return those loafers if I can. I think they were the most expensive one too. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. It's your girl, Young Roots. Today's still Saturday. Currently on my way to this place called Biking Cat. By the time I get there, order my food. It'll be time to break fast. Uh, this is still, I'm still on the hunt for the best seafood in the DFW area since Paradise Cajun has gone. Uh, and like I said, it's been raining all day, so it's rainy, groggy, ugly. But I said that that would not deter me from trying to get it. So Arlington for me, it's about 32 minutes away. They close like right at eight. So I wanted to at least like get the food before they close. See what people are talking about. I tweeted, I was like, is Bayou Cat good? I got like 10 responses that said yes. So I was like, okay, man. We finna see for ourselves. I think I went to Bayou Cat with Jamima when she when I first like linked up with her down here. Um but I don't remember it being all that. But when I was online on TikTok, I don't know why, every time I start pressing record, my face starts to fucking itch. It's so fucking annoying. Anyways, when I was on TikTok, looking it up, they said that it's similar to a place in New Orleans called Cajun. I've been to Cajun in New Orleans. I've been quite a few times. And I absolutely love that place because that was the only place, the only place that I never needed seafood sauce or garlic butter. I never needed it because I don't know how they penetrated the shell, but the seafood was inside of the seafood. I mean, the seasoning was inside of the seafood. Like I didn't need shit. It was so delicious. And I'm like, when they said that, I was like, oh, Okay, um, I'm gonna have to try it. And then they said this is the best place to get crawfish. I'm coming back late. Businesses really run out of crawfish, especially when it's crawfish season and it's not frozen, it's seasonal. They be running the fuck out. So I'm not gonna hold my breath for the crawfish, but hopefully I'll be able to get everything else. And then like, 
I was seeing the prices online because everything is separate. They don't have like those bundles where you get like half pound, one cluster. They don't have that. So I was trying to run up the price and make sure and it's still relatively affordable more than other places like on Irene's. So I am excited to try and I did not take my camera because it's random and ugly. So we're just gonna be doing this on the phone, regular, regular way. And nobody's gonna be masked about it. Y'all just pray that I get there safely and people mind their business. And I'm able to sit down, eat, and enjoy my food. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Okay. So, woo, listen to me. Listen to me. All right. So, I'm guessing because I got crab legs, it took my order. Okay. First things first. It was packed. I got here at 7.05, something like that. And they close at eight, so I'm thinking, okay, got here last hour. I'm not gonna see much traffic. It was packed. Line almost outside the door. Now, 
very much Chick-fil-A energy. They had that shit running like a well-oiled machine. I got in that line. I was like, oh, but I probably got to the front. I got there at 7. I got here at 7.05, walked in, and I got my order in at 7.18. So that's what, because I looked at my receipt. So that's what, about 13 minutes, 13, 15 minutes max. Cool. Mind you, it was, the, the line was snaked. So that's phenomenal time. However, it took an additional 20 minutes for my food to come out. So I didn't get my food till like 7.35 and, um, or 7.40 rather. And like I said, I put my order in at 7.18. They was having that shit out, but I don't think they had the crab legs ready. They had everything else ready. So... They don't do butter-based sauce. Whatever that shit is, it's muddy water. Now, the taste of it, the seasoning is damn delicious. Don't get me wrong, but I think that I prefer like a butter-based sauce or some type of Cajun butter sauce to dip my shit into rather than the muddy water. I say that to say, although that's how I felt about the crab legs and the shrimp. The crawfish? That's the game winner season winner mvp winner the crawfish was so damn delicious it was so good mind you like i said i'm not really a crawfish person i could go without it i'm so glad i did not go without it it was so damn good i was sucking them crawfish heads and I just couldn't believe my life. It was very much given LeBron James, I can't believe this is my life. It was so good, y'all. Not only that, so I got a pound of crab legs, a half a pound of shrimp, a pound of crawfish, a sausage link, two corns, three potatoes, and two eggs for $56. Then, then, when I got my order, they put a whole pound of crawfish that I didn't pay for inside that bitch. Oh, and I got a drink for $56. Let me say it again. A pound of snow crab, which was just two, and a, two, cl two clusters in the leg, a half a pound of shrimp, one pound of crawfish, two corns, three potatoes, one sausage link, two eggs, and a fountain drink. For $56. Then, when I opened my bag, there was a whole new pound of crawfish. I'm leaving with such a heavy bag of shit. There was a whole pound of crawfish in there. And then, when I was packing my shit up, I asked for a bag. And he was like, oh, you can have this as well. I said, what is it? He said, gumbo. I said, gumbo? motherfucking gumbo y'all motherfucking gumbo and if it's anything if it's anything like what i just ate is this gumbo if it's oh it smells so fucking good oh there's a spoon in here let me taste it right now if it's anything mind you i am so full i don't know why i'm doing this pure gluttony i'm just tasting to see because it's free you know sometimes It's packed. It's packed silly. It's packed silly. It's packed silly. Mm. It's a little overcooked, but it's good. It needs hot sauce. Mm. Flavor is there. Mm. Mm -hmm. But it's overcooked. Damn, did I just drop the... That's what I get for opening this bitch up. I just dropped the top. And it went right sliver in the middle of the seat. Oh. Oh, shit. I can eat this because... Let me see that. The flavor is there. I'm tasting a whole lot of celery. Mmm. For free? Yeah, I eat it. I eat it. Well, y'all, first off, 
this the cheapest um this the cheapest seafood i had the cheapest and the most that i've gotten <laughs> then i got some free shit then i will come back just solely for the crawfish they said they said that they seized I mean, they uh, po' boys and they fry foods delicious, but I'm still focused on how delicious that damn, it was, and then I got an extra pound for free. Worth it. So glad I came. So glad I came. So glad that they hyped it up. So glad that they hyped it up. I'll be here for cross, crawfish season. Yep. And they close at eight. It's 839 right now. It's still packed now. People still eat, still peeling. Woo! Oh! Yes, sir! <laughs> that just put my mood up there. Shoot! I feel like volunteering. <clears throat> That's how they get people to volunteer in these places that they don't offer no money. Get somebody some good crawfish, make them suck that head, and get them juices out. Watch how they watch how they volunteer. They're gonna volunteer with a smile on their face. It could be back breaking work. But if they had that crawfish juice rejuvenating their body, oh they're gonna be good to go. They're gonna be green. Fucking free pound. I still got a cluster of crab, a whole pound of crawfish left. Um, some shrimp, shrimp, girl, I, out like a light. What's really good, y'all? I don't know, did I come on here today? No, I didn't come on here today. What's really good, y'all? Today is Sunday, March. I don't ever know the day. It's March something, March 17th. And, um, I'm wearing a Fashion Nova set that the buttons won't stop opening. How frustrating is it that you get out of the house thinking that you look good and your shirt won't stay closed? Mind you, it's not like it's tight. It's, a, it's supposed to be oversized shirt. It ain't oversized, but it fit me just right now. And the motherfucking buttons won't stay closed. I mean, while I'm standing, while I'm sitting, while I'm driving, it's crazy to me. But I'm on my way real quick to Tord to, uh, to return these these penny loafers um i think these are the only ones that i really didn't just fall in love with i'm actually wearing a pair of shoes that i got those mules i told y'all i love them i love the mules the business in the front party in the back ah! ankles usually do be ashy but i know she's not just walking out here with the baby like that and that baby just laying it's a cute ass baby though um one thing is, man, I'm watching Superstore, and I just, I just, I just like a lot of the, those feel-good shows, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, The Office, Parks and Rec. Uh, I forgot what it was called. What was that? Automotive Auto? I forget which one that one, that one has. That's the one with. Yeah. Anyways, I watched that one. And I just love shows like that. But Superstore is just a little bit more brain cell dying. Like everybody's just obtuse. And my thing is, I don't like, I don't like people who, who don't judge themselves, who are not aware of themselves. Like if you go around acting like your shit don't stink and your shit is the most stankiest of the stankiest shit, I, ain't, I don't ever smell, I'm on your ass. And the main character is America Ferrer. What's her name? Amy Dubanowski. She just, she moved like she don't know what the hell she doing. Meanwhile, you know exactly what the hell you're doing. You're a grown-ass woman. I understand it's a show, but it's annoying. And then the store manager, Glenn, his voice is so fucking annoying. He sound like he suck helium all day, every day. However, I haven't stopped watching the show. Mind you, I was watching New Girl. I'm still watching New Girl here and there. But I'm at the season where her, uh, Jess and Nick are trying to navigate whatever they're doing together. Mm, I, I guess I just really like the chase because 
the first kiss that Nick and Jess had was one of the sexiest things I've seen. Oh, so this is where Joey is. Joey is in North Park. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but I'm going to North Park to return these shoes and I'm gonna go see my friend. See, it popped, it popped. I just, I'm gonna have to probably, if I find a cheap enough one, I'm gonna probably have to get a tank top from um, from Tori because I can't go around like this. I would have to go right home and I'm home. And I can't do that. I'm outside, like, you know what I'm saying? It already took a million hours for me to get outside in the first place, like, Probably try to find the tank top real quick just to throw on that way. It don't matter if these hoes come on off. so much for watching this vlog i thought i ended it correctly but i didn't if you're new here please make sure you like comment subscribe comment something beautiful underneath the comment section you got twitter instagram tiktok my handles will be in the description box as well i love y'all and i'm gonna see y'all in the next vlog bye